about wanting so badly to have inspiration in your life that you would wish uh, that you could get hit by a bus. It's insane, but you know, I'm 14, so. <laughs> I used to pray to God every night, hoping that I'd wake up crazy. Cause life is too simple and easy to live, and I would need chaos to save me. I used to pray for a fucked up turn of events that would leave me hopeless. What I didn't know then, I know now. Would it help me to write this down? Going through life, hoping to die, hoping that if I look to the sky, I might get hit by a bus and die. Or at least get hit by a truck full of creation. By a truck full of inspiration. Yeah, thanks. There's usually a really epic kazoo solo there, but alas. No kazoo. I do not have a kazoo on my person at this time. It's, I, it's in the car. I didn't bring my car. I got it goes like, the short of it is, it goes like. I feel like I got the real experience there, you know? Yeah. It's almost like it was here. Tiny weekender with the last Arizona and it's cool. And I have not actually been on a tour in uh since twenty fourteen. So eight years ago, right? Right? Or that's yeah. ten years ago. That's ten years ago. <laughs> okay. Well I haven't been on a tour with this music in ten years apparently. Um so yeah, anyway, beetles and snakes. I'm either too quiet or too fucking loud. I'm either alive or I'm six feet underground. With the beetles and the snakes. I'm probably just overreacting. I'm probably just overreacting. Or I'm probably just on the red. I saw a man picking clover in front of my doctor's office. I thought it was like winning the lottery. Or that maybe his wife had my clover when she was alive. And I started to cry. I started to